Okay, hi, so in this video we're going to talk about different forms of energy. But the first thing that we need to realise is that energy cannot be created or destroyed. Energy is converted energy is converted from one form to another. So it's converted from one form to another. And that's really important when we're looking at different types of energy and how they're used, because we need to realize that we don't just magic that form of energy. For example, in an electric train, the electricity has to come from somewhere and that will be transferred from another form of energy. It's not just made out of nothing. And so that's something we need to realize straight away. And so using that example, we have electrical energy. Electrical. And that involves energy being transferred by an electric current. So that is an electric current. And so this is how all of our electrical appliances work. The electricity will carry the energy. What's actually happening in there is electrons are carrying energy and these can be transferred into other forms of energy, obviously like on our phones and on our computers, uh, etc. But that is by an electric current. There we go. Okay, so we also have kinetic energy. Kinetic energy. And kinetic energy is basically the energy which is stored in things which are moving. Okay, so that is the energy of a moving object. So the object can be either living or non-living. For example, if we're moving, if we're, let's say, running in a straight line, we have kinetic energy. And we're, where have we got that energy from? Well, we haven't just magic that out of thin air. Our muscles are obviously working to allow us to have this kinetic energy. Our muscles will get energy from another type. So from our food, we've stored chemical energy. Chemical energy. Okay, and that is the energy stored in fuels, stored in fuel. Now our food that we eat is a fuel. It allows us to carry out movement and other, other things that we need to do to survive. So food does count as a fuel because our bodies will actually burn it. And importantly, this energy is released. Energy is released of course, when it's burnt. So, for example, when we run, the energy from our food is released because we use up that food, use up the energy, and it's released in something else. A fuel at a power station or in a car engine, well, the energy is released and then it's converted into movement of the car or whatever, and that's because the fuel has been burnt. Okay, so another type is gravitational. Gravitational potential potential now this one is one which people always struggle with it's basically energy stored stored in an object which can include living things such as you and me so it's stored in something at a position it's written in your books at a position but I'm gonna say at a certain height certain height. Okay, this makes sense because if you are standing on the floor, then you're not going to fall through the floor. However, if you are then raised up, let's say on a crane to do a bungee jump and you step off, you are going to fall all the way down. Now you gain more potential energy the higher you go up. So as you go further and further away from the ground, you gain more and more and more potential energy and that is gravitational potential energy. So if you like, gravity wants to bring you down to the ground more as you get further and further away from the ground. And the last one I'm gonna go through, there are more, is elastic potential. Elastic potential. Okay. Okay, so when an object is either stretched or squashed, so you have a stretch or a squash, this causes the object to store energy because if you let go, it wants to bounce back and reform its original shape. An example of this is, of course, a spring or an elastic band. An elastic band, if you stretch it and then you let go, it pings off. 
And that's because you've provided it a load of energy which is being stored, and when you release it, the energy is released into something else. So it's pinging off, it's actually going to be converted into kinetic energy because it will move. Also, some of it will turn into other types of energy. Uh, depends, you could be pinging it upwards, so you could form gravitational pot potential energy. Um, so there are various different types of energy that you could uh, convert that into. So when you stretch or squash an object, this is the energy energy stored. Okay. Now, I mentioned energy transfer. Let's have a look at one example of where this is relevant. Okay, so what we have here is, of course, a tennis ball. Let's just label that with a tennis ball. And what if this down here is the ground? So here's the ground. The tennis ball is being held up here. So what's going to happen if I drop the tennis ball? Well, first of all, let's just label what types of energy this tennis ball has at the moment. It's above the ground, and so it has gravitational potential. I'm going to shorten that to GP. But that's gravitational potential energy. So it has gravitational potential energy, quite a lot of it. Now, does it have kinetic energy? Well, no, because at the moment it's sitting still. So I'm holding it, it is still. Um, so it doesn't have kinetic energy. Does it have elastic potential? No, because I'm not really squashing it or anything like that. So gravitational potential is the main type of energy. Now, what happens if I drop the ball? Well, if I drop the ball, the ball starts accelerating towards the floor. So if we freeze frame here, gravitational potential energy, it still has some, but that gravitational potential energy has gone down. On the flip side, it started moving. So that means that kinetic energy, well, it's awful, kinetic energy, I'm just going to write Ke for kinetic energy. Kinetic energy has gone up. So what's actually happened is we haven't just magic kinetic energy from nowhere. Gravitational potential energy has gone down and kinetic energy has gone up. We've converted gravitational potential to kinetic. Now what happens when the ball hits the floor? Well, the instant it hits the floor, it's stopped. Okay, so we're freeze framing. It's stopped. So kinetic energy has gone down. Also, our gravitational potential energy has gone down as well. Just write GPE for short. That has gone down as well. Well, we haven't just run out of energy. What's happened? Well, when a ball bounces, it gives off sound. And sound is actually a type of energy that I haven't mentioned because it's a sort of type of kinetic energy. So sound has gone up. But more importantly, elastic potential energy has gone up. So EPE, elastic potential energy, has gone up. That's because the ball has compressed, okay, getting ready to bounce. So the ball has compressed, and what's going to happen is that energy is going to be released, and then the ball will shoot up again. So as it's released, let's have a look at that, then the ball bounces back up. And that means that, oh, there we go, that means that the compression has gone, the elastic potential energy has gone down again. So the elastic potential energy has gone down again. But look what's happened. It's gone back up. That means it's regained kinetic energy. And it's also regained gravitational potential energy. Now, it won't have regained as much as it originally had because we've got rid of some in terms of sound, as I mentioned. We've also got rid of some in terms of heat. And so eventually, the ball is going to run out of energy and then it will stop bouncing and it will stay on the floor. So after a while, energy has been converted into other things. All right, one more try. <laughs> energy has been converted into other things. There we go. And it will remain on the floor. But you can see what's happened. 
We've started off with just gravitational potential, we've converted that into kinetic, then those have gone down and converted elastic potential energy. Also we've got sound and heat there, but I haven't labelled those, and so on. So energy transfer happens all the time. Um, anything that's moving or anything that's you know doing anything really can be described in terms of energy transfers. Okay, so I'm gonna, just going to stop there. I'm, we could go into millions of examples, but I just wanted to do sort of a brief overview. But if you do have any questions on that, then please do feel free to send me an email using the link below or do comment in the box and I'll be sure to get back to you. But I look forward to seeing you in the next video.